trying to find this car. It's seven floors. <laughs> that car can be anywhere. Maybe we should split up. That's pretty selfish. You want me to go to the third floor? No, we're not doing all that. Let's just try to find a second floor. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. It's another beautiful sunny day. On my way to take Les, Les the best here to school. Les was so over this morning. She was imitating people that have hot flashes, but she was acting like she was in church. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Les? No. Stay in school, kids. Today, we'll be going to review the Maven app which is a General Motors product. And what it is, is it's a, how do I want to describe it? Peer-to-peer, -peer, car sharing, ride sharing, something like that, ride subscription. No, it's not exactly that, but it tolls along those lines of, you don't need a vehicle, you can go and get one when you need it, use it for what you need to use it for, and then drop it back off, which I think, in its concept, because I haven't tested it yet, but in its concept, I think that it's a phenomenal idea, especially for a person that's looking to move or transition my lifestyle. However, I wanna transition it quickly. However, that's not gonna happen because of restrictions and things that I have going on and too much to get into. But we're gonna go and book a car through the app, use it for however long we need to use it. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes off, off without a hitch. Um, I'm looking forward to it because I think that that's the wave of the future. Car subscription, you know, I prefer to live in a walkable area, a place where I can live, work, and play all in, this, in the same area and not have the need for, you know, owning a car and all of the things that go with it. It's a little bit different for me because, you know, the business is in a restaurant and you kind of need the Jeep and all of that other type of stuff. But yeah, I, I don't really care for the idea of needing to own a vehicle or needing to own certain things in order for you to be able to live your life the way you want to live it. I'm kind of moving into a minimalist phase. And while we're at it, since we're riding in the Jeep, um, I think that it's important that I give you guys an update at some point. All of that is videos to come, stuff to come, things that I'm working on, um, and I'm getting it together. So about to drop less off of school, go pick Reed up, head over to find a vehicle or something like that. I don't know, it's my first time. Actually, I downloaded the app a long time ago, but it's my first time actually using it to see what it's really like. So yeah, let's go. I'm giving you one last chance to say what you need to say. Defend yourself. Defend your hot flashes I was in church this I morning. Oh, and are you an actor? Oh, snap. This is Leslie's last year in this school. You guys didn't know that, but you do now. Hey, what do we say? Awesome. We've been saying that for years now. It's worked. It's paying off. <laughs> That's my baby. So, strolling through. Mm, there's an Equinox up there. Chevy Cruze hatchback pass, another Equinox. I want to test drive a Volt. I am looking to go green. So that may be it right there. See, this doesn't have a specific address though. So do I reserve it and then they give me an address? It says it's a half a mile away. Um, terrain, ATS. See now this is a Chevy Camaro. And these are around thirty dollars an hour, or three fifteen a day. But then I had seen like some that was a lot cheaper. So then, the question then becomes like, am I getting an SS, or am I getting an LS or something like that? Like, 
what am I getting? What kind of Camaro is this? I don't plan on getting a Camaro today simply because it's raining outside. Yep, we got the Chevy Malibu at 775, a Tahoe, so on and so forth. But I think I'm gonna check out this Volt simply because it doesn't have a specific address. And then in addition to that, I always kind of wanted to check out the new Volt because, you know, I got this thing about electric cars right now. So if I wanted to start now and I wanted to end, let's see, 1243. What's uh, about an hour? Oh, the latest you can end it is 2.30. Two hours, basically. They pay for insurance, Wi-Fi, and 24-7 support. We pay for gas and tolls. So my cost would be $15.90 for using it for basically an hour and 45 minutes. So let's reserve it. Confirm reservation. Okay, where do I find this thing? One thousand one brush. Let's go to one thousand one brush. Less than a half a mile away. So I'm in Greek Town. I think I've located the vehicle, or I know where it's at. So it's in a parking garage. But the problem is, is that how do you know what floor it's on in the parking garage? I've ate there before. Ate it as soon as they opened it up. So I'm gonna try to find this car. They say you don't need any keys. All you need is the app. So we're gonna find out how that works. So I'm about to go on this goose chase. Of, uh trying to find this car it's seven floors <laughs> that car can be anywhere maybe you should call the place call them and say what maybe they know what color is it blue i guess this is pretty tough though is that it that chevy right there or you check that, I'm gonna go over here. Does it say bolt on it? This is pretty crazy. I don't think that's it. <sighs> Alrighty then. Yep, that's it. I think I located it, but at the same time, I think I lost a lot of time though. Yep, that looked like it's it. Yep, I found it, but it took me a while. Oh, so after a little bit of work, we found the vehicle. My Bluetooth was off. All right, so let's unlock the vehicle. Hey, I could have did the horn. All right, it's saying unlock is successful. Oh. Oh, well, I can't open the door for you. That's pretty cool. All right, so let me throw my stuff in the back seat. It's fully charged. Come on, hon. We have 58 <laughs> miles of range. Is it on? I think it's it on. on. It's an electric car, so I think we can just go. Oh, oh that's too sweet. It didn't make any noise. That's too so sweet. So it's not actually using any gas. Right. But just we control everything through the phone, so we can control the audio, everything. Apparently, I didn't know that there was a parking pass for you to get out of the garage. And you put it here. Okay, so there's a little bit of a learning curve. However, so far I really like what's happening here. Maybe I should put my seatbelt on. Um, I think the service is good. It's kind of, I don't know, is it the same price as like a rental car? Cause can't you get like- No, it's cheaper. A car for a whole day for like $15. Where are you getting that car from, rent a wreck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never rented a car. I don't know how much it costs. I mean, it depends on the type of car, it depends on the service, it depends on your loyalty, it depends on your points. I know it, uh, it's depending on how fast these people are going, they're going really, really slow. <laughs> we ain't got much time, you know what I'm saying? We don't have to put any fuel back in this thing because it's all electric, and that's the one thing that you do have to pay for is tolls and fuel. And it looks like the Lions have a game today, Monday Night Football. So traffic is picking up a little bit. I had 
to come out here anyway, so I might as well use somebody else's car to do it. Look at these lines. We literally been in here. How long you think we've been in here? Probably about seven minutes. Been in here seven minutes. Ain't nobody waiting in that. I hate to be giving y'all free promo, but I'm gonna give you free promo, uh, Sam's Club and Walmart. So I just scanned all my stuff as I was shopping for it. I ain't waiting in them lines, man. Ever. Technology is everything. Cause time is money. I feel like these companies should be paying me for this exposure. But then again, if I start charging and they start paying me, I become like the corporate places and then I can be bought. And then I'm not authentic anymore. All right, let's unlock. Seeing the lights flickering. Oh, wow. I got it, honey. All right. Well, I guess that's that. My final thoughts on this Maven app, GM's car, peer-to-peer -peer sharing program. I'm not even really sure what you call it, but it's a convenience app for people that need cars, that want to use cars to do what it is that they need to do or get done and then drop it back off and don't have any obligation to maintain the cars. Your only obligation and priority is to make sure that you can get to and from, that it's in the same condition that it was when you picked it up, and to make sure the gas is back in it, which we didn't have to put any gas back in it because we just plugged it back up. And that part was pretty dope also because I hadn't driven in a Chevy Volt. So I'm really, really interested in electric cars. A completely different conversation. I know you can hear the game through my headphones one of the reasons why i wear gaming headphones and you know i play on xbox also i'm not a pc player i'm not a ps4 player none of that you want to give your final thoughts on the maven app and i've been you know kind of selling rita on this whole transition into a different lifestyle and you know i'm kind of over the whole suburbs thing and all of that but like i said a completely different conversation but you want to give your thoughts on the maven app and uh specific car the chevy volt that we had got let me um, turn my headphones I think down that the app is a very good idea it also allows people to drive different cars like your eyes you are so red from waking up but go ahead like a different car you know drive something that you've never driven before i like that also and the chevy volt i like that i like that car like you said we didn't have to go to the gas station just plug it up and go so I think that my next car will be electric. Hint, hint. Anyway. He knows what I'm hinting at. She wants a Tesla, specifically, I don't know, probably a Model S. But yeah, it was pretty dope. I really loved it. I really liked it. I hope that um, other car manufacturers keep it up and that General Motors continues to push and promote this thing because it's the future. It's the wave of the future. Even if it's slow to be adopted by certain cities because you know they're used to operating in a certain way and it, it takes a shift and a change in culture and it takes companies really large companies like general motors in order to push stuff like this you know i've been reading about um car subscriptions i think that that's a phenomenal idea especially for people like me and the majority of the population that don't want to be tied down to anything specific you want to all include you know it reminds me of um the music industry and how, you know, at one point you used to have to go to the store and sift through records or and then you had to, you know, the whole cassette tapes and then CDs and then eventually there was a disruption and it was uncomfortable for a long time for a lot of people in a lot of different companies that depended on an old model and they wanted it to stay the same, which that disruption was file sharing 
Napster, so on and so forth. Um, long story short, now we have, you know, you, you can stream and subscribe. So I have Apple Music. I love Apple Music. I'll probably never, ever personally go and purchase a CD or, you know, anything like that. I just want to be able to get what I want to get and listen to what I listen to. Y'all figure out how to monetize it. Y'all figure out how it makes sense. From a financial perspective for the companies and for the artists and things like that but we want what we want we want convenience we want to use technology to better and make our lives easier and, and get the things that we want when we want it and i think that cars and hopefully probably somehow some way even homes will probably transition into this new wave of subscription based get what you want to get and get something different whenever you want it type thing. So I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to try to use it as much as possible. And I'm even going to petition you guys share this video with Maven. I'm even in general motors. I'm even going to pet petition them to get more vehicles out in areas where I live at specifically, because I don't really care for, I mean, I love my cars. I love my Jeep. I love my Lexus. Um, but I don't like being tied down. I really don't. And I don't really care for driving as much. I know I have to do some driving because of the things that I, you know, the businesses and all of that other type of stuff. But I don't know. It's different for me. I'm, I'm transitioning. And more than just wanting to be a certain type of way, I'm slowly moving my life into a different direction. So I will holler at y'all later. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you holler at me at AntonDaniels.com and all of my social media platforms. I'll check y'all out later. Peace.